NetOps 19.1 delivers a unified view of SD-WAN monitoring, allowing your operations team to easily and effectively troubleshoot SD-WAN issues from pilot to full deployment. Looking at our dashboard, we can very easily see we have two alarms, two critical alarms related to tunnels within my environment. The unified alarm view provides threshold information processed through NetOps fault correlation engine to provide simple view into performance issues within your WAN. We can see in this dashboard threshold issues related to high tunnel latency. I can understand very easily the source and destination using simple IP addresses and understand when the problem happened. I can expand my card view to very easily understand the specific tunnels having problems. This gives me critical information to understand the extent of the problem. I can scroll down to the innovative GeoMap, which provides simple visibility into the overall aggregate health within my SD-WAN environment. Quickly isolating problems is as simple as a click. The map will provide me with an overall topology where I can hover and understand the specifics related to the problems I'm seeing in my environment. The innovative threshold trend provides me with clear insights to understand patterns that have emerged within my SD-WAN environment. This is especially helpful when looking at broadband connectivity given the non-guaranteed nature of that mechanism. I can expand to look at performance trends across key metrics such as packet loss, latency, and jitter. I can see volume leaders related to my VPNs and tunnels. I can look at the volume leaders for my interfaces. And now with unified NetOps, I can even bring in flow information specific to my SD-WAN. Here I can see my top protocols and top protocols by interface for those protocols. I can also understand the top hosts, both by volume and by interface. Again, all in context of my SD-WAN environment. SD-WAN monitoring by NetOps is more important than ever, as the complexities of SD-WAN provide abstractions between the control plane and the data plane. These are most evident in the application paths provided for reporting. While these application paths provide fantastic visibility into the performance of your WAN from an application perspective, it can be difficult to understand where operator actions may be necessary. It's not uncommon for a particular transport not to meet an application's performance definition, but when is the right time to respond? You don't want to overwhelm your operations team responding to every alarm, and you want to ensure, however, you're taking appropriate actions when a real problem exists. I'm going to demonstrate how we're able to use the threshold performance monitoring within the performance NetOps solution to trigger alarms based off of times over threshold. In our threshold profiles, you can see I've defined several different event rules. There are three primary metrics to be monitored, latency, packet loss, and jitter. Each of these metrics are generated in a percent of threshold format making for very easy threshold configuration. When a threshold profile reaches 100% of threshold, that means that that transport is no longer applicable to that application's SLA. In our example, we'll raise a minor alarm when that happens for any given five minute period. As you can see here, I escalated after one hour to raise a major alarm. And finally, after two hours of being unable to route that particular application traffic across the given transport, we're going to raise a critical alarm. These are the alarms that we want our operators to respond to. When we look at our alarm console, we can see we've reduced that noise in our top view to nothing. This represents all of the critical alarms or any of the issues that have occurred over a longer time frame, those chronic conditions. I then have alarm views I'm able to look at independently for each specific application policy SLA. We can see here I have a three, Office 365, voice and video, best effort, and ticks change. You can see I have major alarms in here, not necessarily something our operations team needs to worry about. 
we see all of the events raised and cleared over the time frame related to that performance. And as I mentioned, no critical alarms, so no immediate operation required. As the infrastructure continues to be leveraged by SD-WAN, we can see conditions, critical, where these particular transports have not met the application performance requirements for two hours or more. These are a good indication of issues that should be identified and not the noise that will be that can occur from normal day-to-day, hour-to-hour, or minute-to-minute SD-WAN performance.